it's your girl, Moshe Shante. <laughs> well gone, one of the deaf ones. Zine, zine, zine. All right, guys. So today, hold on first. You guys, some, you know, notice something a little bit different? I'm wearing eyeshadow. I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone. I have all of these shadows and I don't wear them. So, did you like? You love it. Really. Thank you. <laughs> I'm playing. I've also been loving my hair. I did finger coil with the Emerge gel. I told you guys I probably would do it, but if you guys want to see a video, drop it in the comment section below and let me know. Today, we are going to be doing some Bantu knots, or otherwise what we call a Tayyad, Chani Bump. I have some leftover hair, which is so interesting, you guys. So, y'all remember when I had the large box braids? Probably back in March, and I posted a video on how to do box braids, now, your girl assumed that with COVID, we're not going to be able to go outside, to even step out the door, like everything was going to be closed. So since they were large, I kept them. I did. And today we're going to be reusing them. I don't know if y'all find that nasty. I don't care if you do, honestly. On this side, what did I say? We're definitely budget friendly, definitely frugal, okay? We're trying to say that coin, okay? I have the um, hair. Right now it looks like kind of crazy, but this is it, and hopefully it goes well. I think it's gonna go well. I think it's gonna be really cute because I don't know. I've been just really excited to do them. It's gonna be a first. I hope you guys enjoy the video. But I'm gonna start by parting the front. Oh, it kind of hurts a little bit. One of the main things is how it frames your face. For me, I know I don't want the one knot at the top. I'm not a huge fan of the one knot at the top. So I think I might do either four knots around the front of my face. The back is probably gonna have just two. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have 10 in my head. The huge suggestion is to make sure that your parts are really neat. It doesn't necessarily have to be like bone straight, geometric, super neat everywhere, but at least at the front, for this look, I have all of the rubber bands from the um, hair when I first purchased it. Um, my hair is slightly damped from my shower, so I'm gonna use a little bit leave-in conditioner and I'm gonna put it on a section. And I have my shining jam. It's such a faithful. I mean, it lasts for not a long time on your hair, but when you're doing your hair, it looks like crisp and like fresh and just look good and it smells really good too so I'm gonna use this on my scalp don't wanna damage my hair so I'm probably just gonna go for one and wrap it once y'all it's so smooth oh my gosh so as convenient as the rubber bands were I would definitely recommend using an ouchless hair tie um, on your hair because the style is supposed to be protective and you don't want your hair snagging or ripping out with this style but that's the only thing I had to do as many knots as I needed to get done so that's why I use that but get an outfit band <laughs> this is so cute <laughs> so we're gonna tackle this side next Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm gonna take little parts of the hair and crochet it in and then make the knots. Also, you guys didn't have to crochet it in. You could have just tried to twist the hair or the extension around the root of your hair where the band is or braid it in. That's also an option. And if you don't have connect line, you could also use Marley hair or any kinky textured hair because it kind of gives it more of a realistic look. You know, we want it to look natural and cute. You know what I'm saying? So you can also try that as well. And 
And again, I don't care about the twist. It doesn't have to be super neat. Um, but I just do like a quick twist. but we're gonna fold it a little bit you can just kind of make a faux knot and then wrap the hair around itself Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get my mom. If she picks up and I can catch her reaction, it would be really funny. Hello! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put you on. I'm gonna put you on YouTube. What you think? What what I must say? You can be honest. You look good, Maisha. I like it. You do. Do I look like um baby mo with the mini tiny bump them? Are you gonna if you put if you put the, the baby picture beside it? Oh my god. Would they like it? Yes. Me used to say. Moisha, you used to say, Mommy, shiny bump again. No, mommy, you can't put in something else. And I said, Moisha, you don't like it. No, mommy. And I said, But you look pretty. <laughs> I'm very surprised now, Moisha. Yes. To see you wearing shiny bump. You, yeah. you, 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 you made me, you made me, um, Rejoice! What what you did not like as a baby, you grow. I like, like no. You know, as an adult. Yep. And I'm saying to each his own, eh? Mm hmm You really look nice. You, Thank you. You know your hands, your hands are blessed. Your hands are. Thank blessed. you. So are you. Thank you. <laughs> My aunt's son. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So this is the final look. How are we feeling? I really like it. You guys saw me cheesing the whole way through. I should tell you guys something specific to say to me in the comments. I guess to force you guys to talk to me. Because we should have a connection. You know what I'm saying? So today, my challenge to you guys is to say something positive in the comment section about yourselves. Does that work? I don't know. If not, just say something. Just say hey or whatever and I'll say hey back. But I appreciate you guys so, 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 so very much for the continuous love and support. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, before you leave, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. 